What up all today we're taking a look at the Ryobi One Plus 18 volt hot glue gun. So I've had a older glue gun for a while and uh, it worked good but it was just kind of beat up and it's kind of a pain to use. It was a cheaper one and you know you had to lay it down like this. The glue would drip. The sticks were always falling out and you had to have an outlet for it so I've seen this at the Home Depot and I think this came out not too long ago I don't know maybe a year maybe not even that but I've, I've been wanting to try this so I figured I'd run up and grab one and see if they were any good so this one here does not come with a battery I will put a link in the description below uh, again good grip to this I like it as a two finger grip here and the trigger feels that's a little wobbly, but you know, for the price of this, I think I only paid 24 bucks for it, so that's not bad. And uh, yeah, so no battery for this. You can't buy it in the kit, I believe. But what's nice about this is that it's self standing, which is awesome. That's one of the main reasons why I wanted this here, so you can just set it up and go. Now, another very cool feature about this is the LED on and off. On the other one that I had, you know, when you plugged it in, it was on, and that's it. This one here, you flip on like this. You can see that red light come on. I don't know how well you can see it, but that's what's going to heat that up. And if I want to shut it off, all I got to do is this. So we're going to kick this on real quick, and we're going to see how long it takes to heat up. Got a fully charged battery there, and uh, I'll be back. All right. So what are we going to hot glue? Now, Makita chargers. Now I, I know there's different ways of doing this. I have some scrap wood. All I'm going to do is hot glue these here. I swear Makita's the only ones that doesn't have a, uh, you know, a hanging area for the wall. But so I'm going to hot glue this, and I'm hoping that I can just run a steady bead without having to uh, squeeze that trigger. I'm guessing that's what it's going to do. But yeah, I'm going to I'm going to hang these on the wall. Yeah, I get it. There's probably better ways of doing it. This is the way I'm going to do it. So all right, uh, two minutes is up. I think my glue is ready to go. Let's check it out. All right, so FYI, what's nice about this here is the uh, tip. Got that heavy plastic, and it's actually like a guard. And you don't want to hold on to it, but in case you accidentally touch this when it's on, you won't burn yourself. That tip there, very hot. And this right here, it's a little warm, but not too bad. And all in all, I mean, this thing got a really nice build to it. It's a nice feel to it right here. So, all right, let's see if we can run a, a straight bead down without having to... Uh, continuously pull that trigger nope see so you still gotta pull the trigger which is fine but that being said it's very smooth action heats up really well I like that All right, so let me throw this on the back here All right, one down. Let's try this again here. So we're gonna need another glue stick. Let's finish this up here. So, I don't know how well you can see, but this really does not make a mess at all. It goes right where it needs to go. There's no dripping. It stops immediately as soon as you let go of that trigger. So, that's really nice. You can see back here that when you put that glue stick in, once it starts to run into the gun, this will actually catch up to it and start pushing it through again. Alright, so we got another one here ready to go. And it comes out real nice and smooth. You can add as much as you want or as little as you want. So I like that. It really heats that up very well. And that's complete liquid right there. A bit more here on this one. Really good quick action on this too. I really like this. I'm happy I got this. Oh, the other one was driving me nuts. This one here is so much easier to use. With it being cordless, it's great. I love how it stands up by itself. You don't have to worry about putting it down and, 
and you're burning a countertop or whatever or catching something on fire so that's great all right so we'll let this one dry up and we got one more large one to go all right now i got the double charger here this one might be a little tougher there's two things i want you to take away from this video one is this freaking gun's awesome two makita start putting some freaking hangers on your chargers already all right one more time here let's run this down a little extra there run it down the side this one here it's a different shape in the back so a little extra on the side there man it's so quick all right now just because this one's a little heavier i'm going to run this like a beat of cock right down the side here there you go now another nice thing about this you can actually get in at really tight corners where you don't have to worry about the the cord getting in your way so that's really nice as well i can go down inside i can go this way this way so that's huge right there for me now that this is done being used i'm just going to flip it off and let it cool down well it might not be pretty but it works my wall o chargers over here i don't know i think i got room for like one more maybe I'll start putting them on a ceiling or something but yeah, that, that held tight, and uh, finally I got these things hanging up now. So really, really happy with this gun here. This is one of those tools that you kind of say to yourself, why didn't I just spend the $25, you know, two months ago, and then, you know, pretty much get rid of the headache that I had with the other older guns. And uh, really happy with this. The trigger action on this is very smooth, you know, very controllable with how much glue that you act actually put out. I love that this thing stands by itself. No more of this. You know worrying about it falling over and then burning something just really well built very heavy duty this is definitely able to be used with heavy applications so no issues with that i also love the on off feature with the led light and it's an indication that you left that on you can come over you see that you just flip it back off just a well done product now you gotta hand it to Ryobi though, seriously. They really do come out with some really cool things that other people just so Again, don't. I will put this link in the description below for you to check this thing out. Very well done, Ryobi. Happy with this. Five stars. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe. Check us out at www.tourviewzone.com and we'll be back with more videos soon.